Hey everybody, uh, Andy here, Doggy Doc. Uh, as I mentioned before, I just wanted to make a little video uh, to showcase some of the, you know, details and some of the, the fun things about the Pee Wee bike, um, you know, that I just finished. Uh, before I go into the details, I just thought I'd let you guys know I will be doing a small run of these. Very, very small, limited, um, probably less than 10. If you're interested, uh, send me a message, send me a PM, and I'll give you the details. Um, but... Otherwise, let's let's take a look. Um, so as I said, I had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, this is the world famous best bike in the whole world, and it is it is awesome. Um, it's really cool to see, you know, all all the details and all the neat things they did for this custom bike. Um, as you guys hopefully know, I, I pride myself on on those details, on screen accuracy, trying to get everything down to the absolute most finite thing that was on screen, if possible. So, um, the, 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 the bike itself, um, is, is a Zonex model Schwinn Phantom diecast model from the nineties, which is the closest thing I could find to match the base bike in the movie, which I think is called an X1. Um, but the bike itself is modified to look just like the screen used model. I, I you know, I had to remove some, some of the frame and, and add in new frame. Um, I remove parts that don't belong there, you know, like there's a headlight, there's a tail light. The chain guard was not correct at all. Um, and then every other piece that you see, all the custom pieces, you know, that don't come on your typical Schwinn, were all made from the ground up by me. Um, mostly 3D modeling and printing, um, but I'm a big fan of using whatever medium is necessary to uh, to try to replicate what you see on screen. And every... Every detail on screen is on here. Um, I did some pretty extensive research. In particular, I visited the RPF. You guys may be familiar with the Replica Prop Forum. They have like a 300-page post detailing all the details um, about the bike. And I read every page, found every detail I could. You know, to give you some examples, the handlebar grips, specific with type. Uh, the, the bell on the... Um, the bike, a specific type. The mirrors, a specific type. One's larger than the other. They have, you know, very specific um, reflectors on the mirrors. Those are there, separate pieces. The specific type of taillights that were modified to use for, for the bike are there. Um, you know, show, show you some of these things up close as I'm talking about them. The Delta Rocket Ray, you know, the propeller spinner little guy on the front. Um, that is a modified sort of specialized light, but they turned it into a... A propeller spinner and yeah you know the propeller moves um you can see on here the, the word delta across the back just underneath the the rear fin it does say super rocket ray I, you probably can't see that it, but it's molded right into the right into the light there um the mickey mouse bell you know there's a very specific model or i'm sorry um, specific type of sticker this bell comes with multiple different versions and that's the right sticker um, you know, the, the super siren, which is this, this lion head super siren, um, apparently very rare to find these days, but I modeled the head in ZBrush, you know, hand painted that, um, the three gear shifter, you know, is the right model and has the correct sticker on it. Let me see if I can turn turn this bike around to show you a couple of the other details. As I do, I'll show you things along the way. Um, you know, we have Pee Wee's nameplate, you know, which I think we're all familiar with, property of Pee Wee Herman. Uh, the, uh, let's see here, a couple other fun details and, and also sort of screen accuracies. The, um, the tassels, you know, the colored tassels. There's only set specific colors in the tassels, and there's a specific number, a specific order. Um, there's red, blue, green, yellow, white, and there's two of each, and they go in an order. I think something like red, green, yellow, blue, white, white, blue, yellow, green, red. Something like that. I mean, it's the same forward and backward. Those are there. The correct model compass. And just so everyone knows, I tried my absolute hardest to get that compass to work. I wanted to make a functional compass, compass, uh, but I admittedly could not do it. So if I come up with some innovation to do that, I will, but 
for now it's non-functional, but it has all the details. It's got the correct um, bracketing that holds it in place. You can see it's got a separate, you know, outer globe shell and in the inner compass, you know, part. The uh, the Super Siren has all the accurate sort of stickering on it. Um, the handpiece is magnetically attached, removable. I kind of feel like you guys may be familiar with sort of my phone cords. Sorry about the blur there. Uh, but you just plop that back on. Uh, the mirrors, you know, those were kind of fun. They're, they've got metal bars and they're adjustable. You can move them sort of wherever you need to. Let's see if I can do this without knocking it over. They are reflective. I don't know if, if I can make something reflect. That's my finger. They're not perfect, but... Um, the uh, the rear compartment, for example. I know I'm showcasing the one that does not have the endless chain in it, but the rear compartments are both openable, and um, I custom made these little latches for them. So um, to open these, what we do is they're magnetic, and then there's magnets in the roof, or sorry, the roof, the lid of the saddlebag, so that when you open it, it kind of it somewhat softly attaches to the rear compartment so that they can stay open. So you just, uh, you're just going to pull the latch down, switch hands here just so I can hold the phone the right way, and then you open up the lid, and there we go. Stays open, so if I were to kind of shake the bike around a little bit, that lid's not going anywhere. Um, you can see I had to use a really special bracket, I'm sorry, a hinge sort of mechanism that I just made up um, because the the hinge needed to be hidden and there's no way to to hide a hinge um, and not show it outwardly but yet it have op have the saddlebag open the way that it does so I had to kind of fabricate a special type of hinge you can also see some of the hardware used to attach the saddlebags all this is very very nice and secure um, sometimes we worry a little bit about the fragility of these customs but this one I feel pretty good about so um, so then you just uh, close your lid down <clears throat> you see there and you just plop the latch back up and the magnet catches and you're good to go so the paint job you know all done in bright i think i chose toolbox red the pinstriping is all hand done by me with pinstripe tape the thinnest i could find um I don't, I don't think, I don't think I mentioned it, but the mud flaps I really enjoy. I really like the mud flaps. Really cool detail. Um, three separate pieces. You know, there's the flap itself. There's the the winged um, ornament there, and then the little jewel in the middle of the winged ornament. These are, I don't know how close I can get, but those are see-through jewels. All of them are. Um, you know, I really like the detail of the chain guard, which is fully custom made. The one that came on the bike model is is no good it doesn't look anything like the one from the movie um, our center section here is really attached with uh, plastic straps and real screws you know some of my mixed media that i mentioned earlier um, you know I, I i custom made all the brackets that attach all the pieces to the handlebars you know using real screws to secure them in place <clears throat> so you know, I just I'm I'm really proud of this. I, I you know enjoy all the details of the tail lights with the ridge detail. So um, this was really fun. Uh, I I can't wait to get these in the hands of a few people. A couple small corrections I need to make. You know, again, a screen accuracy for me. The inside of the spirals need to be red, and I did not realize that they're white, so those will be reddened. Those will be turned red. So don't worry. Uh, but yeah, it's, it'll be a it'll be a little while. This this was a quite a labor, um, but you know a lot of that time was spent figuring out how to do it. Now I know how to do it, and now I just want to make more for you guys. So, uh, and then one final note: um, as you all know, I'm working on a ton of stuff. I've got other projects that have been waiting for a little while. This kind of started to overtake my time a little bit, so my apologies for that. But as you guys know, anything I started, it will be finished. Um, so don't worry about that. I enjoy working on multiple things at once. It kind of keeps me, keeps me fresh. So I really want to thank you all for all the support you've given me throughout all these last couple years. Um, and I, I just can't, can't wait to keep doing more for you guys. So thanks a lot.